share easy recipes, effortless entertaining ideas, and home decor that blends function and design. Here you'll also find a lot of minimalist tips. Today, that's exactly what I'm sharing. Thanks to a recent poll I took on Instagram, I discovered that a lot of you would really like to get some ideas from minimalist seasonal decor. And I'm full of them, so have no fear. That's what we're talking about today. Now the first thing you need to do to embrace minimalist seasonal decor is to start with a neutral color palette. We talked about this in my Christmas video. If you have a neutral color palette throughout your home, it makes it really easy to transition from one season to the next. I actually recently did a video of all my favorite cream paint colors, so you can check that out and start there to start a great base for making decorating effortless, year after year, season after season. Now, in addition to having a neutral paint palette, of course, things like rugs and other investment pieces that you don't change out frequently, like furniture, should also be neutral. Now, they don't have to be, but it certainly makes decorating and transitioning from one season to the next much, much easier. You can learn about our IKEA sofas and our Pottery Barn sofas linked in the description below. Both of those are slip covered in white. And again, because of that, they go from one season to the next really without any effort. If you have sofas that are in other neutral colors like tans and beiges and leathers, those work incredibly well as well. For our rugs, I have just a hint of color in each of our rugs that are in our home. Our living room rug is the most neutral as well as our family room rug. But then I get a little splash of color in the kitchen, the breakfast room, and the guest bathroom. There are an array of colors to pull from in those three rugs. And so it makes it, again, pretty easy. They're neutral overall, but little hints of pinks and blues to use in there that you can draw from those. And those colors are really easily complemented with organic elements. Now, that brings me to my next tip for minimalist seasonal decor, going organic. I love to add in flowers and plants to bring the room to life. And you've heard this over and over again in my posts when I share how to arrange flowers or my other decorating ideas. That is always the finishing touch. But really, for seasonal decor, it's actually my starting touch. I go to the grocery store or hardware store and find whatever excites me. This time of year, it's the little clover plants. I absolutely love those when they bloom, they're so sweet. The kids love watching them open and close, but that's such a simple and beautiful way to decorate for St. Patrick's Day without being cheesy. Another plant that I'm looking for this time of year is I love hyacinths, tulips, daffodils, and so anything that's planted full works really well to last for a month or two indoors. However, I also always bring in a lot of fresh flowers. You can almost always find fresh flowers in our home because they bring me so much joy and that's like a special little treat that I give to myself each week. Right now I have roses and eucalyptus. You can see in the description below exactly how to arrange those and find some other really simple spring flower arrangements. With each season, whatever you find at your grocery store or hardware store, you can bring into the home just as well as you can enjoy it outdoors. You can also get some tips usually from a hardware store on how to care for those. But I like to bring in flowers and plants and those will naturally bring in those seasonal colors. Another thing I like to do is switch out my towels. In fact, I switch them out every week when we clean our home. But I really, in particular, I switch them out during the season. And right now, I pulled in a pretty pink linen towel in our kitchen. 
I have some beautiful striped tiles in the bathrooms. Again, I went with some pink hues on the main level and I went with some, some blue hues upstairs. But it's also a really great time to eliminate the old tiles that aren't looking so great and fresh anymore and are just not really that cleanable at this point. I don't know if that happens to you, but with three little kids, that happens to us. So it's a great time to kind of go through the tiles and eliminate. I'm always decluttering whenever I'm redecorating. Another one of my favorite ways to redecorate for minimalist seasonal decor is just switching out my candle scent. I know a scent just like evokes that feeling and it can add, a candle can add just a hint of color in a room. It doesn't take much to really transition from one season to the next when you start off with a neutral color palette. So a beautiful candle and your favorite hue is another simple way to update your room for that season. But again, in addition to adding color, it can also add a beautiful fragrance. And one of my favorite things to switch out from one season to the next are pillow covers. Now I used to go crazy on this one. I used to switch out my pillow covers four times a year and I rarely reuse them. I have been working hard in effort to consume less, looking at things that can transition easily through the seasons when it comes to my pillow covers. I might swap out one or two, but I never really swap them all out very often anymore. I am getting ready to in our family room, but we've had those for almost two years now. That's just a step that I'm taking to become a little more on the minimalist side, but you can always swap out from one season to the next. I can link some of my favorites in the description below. Like I said, I'm just a little on the crazy side. I used to have, you know, spring, winter, summer, fall, and you can reuse those year after year. But I store those in my linen cabinet, which you can learn more about in my How to Become a Minimalist video. I also love to switch out my throws this time of the year. No longer do we need the really bulky, heavy, sweater knit throws. Now I'm moving into like lighter fabrics, softer fabrics. I'm really loving an alpaca fro, which is renewable and anything that feels light and cozy, but so soft and light in color as well. Another thing you can do for minimalist seasonal decor is instead of storing that decor away, putting it on display. For Valentine's Day, I like to pull out my heart-shaped tart pan and put it front and center in our hutch. But you can do that with any of your seasonal bakeware or cookware, your pie dishes, etc. But you can also display your seasonal china. Let's say you have like a beautiful spun woodland pattern. You can put those on display during the fall holidays. If you have a really pretty pattern that works really well for Easter, like my grandmother's china, you can put that on display. So bringing out what you already have is a great way to decorate without adding to your home, which is really what it's all about when you're thinking minimalism. Of course, I also love to switch out my wreaths. It's really, again, another quick and easy way. I'm always thinking what's a quick fix to transition something from one season to the next because I don't have time to redecorate every week, every month every change in my mood. So a wreath is a really quick way to update it, but you can also get like a classic wreath like a boxwood and simply just change out your ribbon from one season to the next. So it's up to you on what you do, but that's another easy way to update without adding a lot to your home, which again, this is essential for minimalism. I also like to swap out my art. You've seen during the holidays how I remove our lavender botanical that I had created and replace it with a Christmas wreath. Well, I get that Christmas wreath usually lasts until about February or March because I used this year blue juniper berries, which worked well all winter long. Now it's time to replace that piece of art with beautiful lavender, which truly lends itself well to spring, summer, and fall. So it's a really simple fix. You're not really adding a lot. I'm able to compost that free, but you can also simply replace the art within your picture frame. And I did this last fall, but I do this often in our bedroom. You've probably seen at Christmas. I have some vintage Christmas trees that I like to put in there. 
and you don't even have to replace it. You can just add it in front. That way you have the other piece of art stowed just behind and ready to flip through. I actually have a really beautiful spring printable for you, and it's my Easter egg. I guess you can consider it a botanical. It's a vintage print, and it's just so gorgeous this time of year. So I'll link to that in the description below. It's complimentary, and I hope you enjoy it as well. I hope you've enjoyed all these tips for minimalist seasonal decor. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate and reach out to me. I love hearing from you. Please, whatever you do, don't forget to click subscribe and ring that little bell so you get notifications every time I share a new video on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I look forward to seeing you again soon.